Hello, Red Army. We're here with Hulk Hair exclusive. Jared Weir Hargreaves signing a one-year deal starting in 2025 with the Robins. Great news for the club. Jared, how do you feel? Uh, exciting, you know, like um, my wife and I and obviously the kids have never really experienced anything for such a long period of time. So uh, for us to, you know, we've obviously been, been talking about it for a number of years, my wife and I, and for this opportunity to come up, um, uh, it's, it's just an amazing experience, mate, that we'll obviously get to come over as a family and knuckle down and um, enjoy the the north of England. I've played a number of years over there, um, obviously with New Zealand, coming away internationally, and I've been doing that since about 2000 and, 2009. And, uh, I've, I've loved England, mate. Like, I really have. I, I love how passionate the people are. Um and every time I play over there, just the experience of 10,000 passionate um, fans, you know, obviously it's it compares to 30,000, 40,000 over here, you know, just um, I love I love the, the working class um, town and Hull. And it's obviously um, I've got one of my best mates that lives there and, it's just uh, it's it's sort of been on our uh, radar for a couple of years now, and for the opportunity to be official, it's uh, it's very exciting, mate. Jared, I know you're good friends with with Skids over here. Can you just tell us about a fateful night in Paris and how how this move all came about? I played um, nearly ten season with Skid, and uh, obviously when he went over to Hull, um, I've stayed in contact, and he's spoken highly about the club and. Um, the people uh, within the club. It's obviously, um, like I said, it's it's sort of been a a part of what I've wanted to do um, coming towards the back end of my career. And now that this opportunity's um, here, it's it's kind of exciting, you know. So once uh, we started talking, mate, about whether it, it could happen, um, mate, it just sort of happened. It started happening at the... I'd say November last year, um, we went away to Paris together and um, asked what what I was really up to and um, yeah, the opportunity was there and here we are now. Jared, you've already spoke with the boss, Willie. What did them conversations go like? I had a couple of good chats with Willie. Um, he's a great man, a man's man, and um, I'm really looking forward to playing uh, playing for him, mate. He said that the team's been building for a number of years. Um Obviously, been really successful last year and falling short, but um, I've got a really strong, uh, strong sort of squad there this year. And obviously, the the game last night, um, they've obviously been training really hard. It's it's shown in their performance last night. So, um, I said the clubs are in a really good position at the moment. Um, obviously, the passion within the club. Um, yeah, it just um, just needs uh, you know, obviously um, we just sort of said it needs a little bit more experience, and uh, I was I was yeah, mate, I was honestly I was so keen as as soon as I was I was talking to Willie, I was like, mate, I'm I'm super keen and excited to get over there for you. Jared, the club had such a strong twenty twenty three, making the Challenge Cup final, and been eighty minutes away from Old Trafford. Now starting twenty twenty four and looking like this club's going to progress. What do you want to bring to the team for twenty twenty five? Yeah, obviously, mate. I've played, um, played seven. I've been this is my seventeenth season in, in the NRL, so um, I've got a fair bit of experience. Played in um, some big games, and I, I wanna, I wanna be able to um, support and show these guys, um, and just come in, mate, and work hard. You know, obviously, support these guys in areas that they need to be. Um, shown and, and just make honestly be hands on and do whatever do whatever it takes to sort of um uh bring as much positive sort of um to these guys. Obviously Jared the NRL is all you've ever known and coming over here is, is is a massive challenge. Are you looking forward to taking that head on? Yeah, I think um the way I look at things, mate, it's um be exciting, you know, a uh, bit of a fresh change, fresh start, uh meeting a whole new like new faces, um, different teammates. Like I look at that as, as a really good opportunity, um, you know, for me to 
come to a club and earn the respect of the players and work hard. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to an opportunity like that, mate. It's obviously established over here, you know, and at a at a really strong club and a proud club. So uh, for me to take my experience that I've um, you know, I've sort of gathered over all that time and, and try and pass my experience on to other players and um, other coaches. Um, mate, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm really excited for. Jared, what is it that you want to do when you come over in 2025, whether that's silverware or really connecting with the community as well? Yeah, there's a, there's a few, mate. Um, there's a few, like, performance ones. Um, honestly, I just I just want to... I, I want to get over there and like I said, you know, earn the respect of the players and staff. And it's sort of, um, for me at this age, you know, you, you, you don't look too far ahead. Like it's easy to say, Oh, you want to win a challenge cup. You want to win. Like it's easy to fall in the, um, the blurriness of that, that sort of achievement. But my, I, I just want to get over there and, um, get the respect of the people, you know, I want to work hard. I want to show everyone that um, I'm there to um, to do good. You know, to to be successful. So, um, and that's it's it's only a few months away now. So, looking forward to getting over there in November.